the 2012 European Senior Tour finally got underway in Mallorca at Pula Golf Club. Peter Fowler will be looking to continue his success from last season. Well, it's a great honour to be uh, the John Jacobs champion from last year. There's some new young players on the tour and, uh, and uh, just turned 50, so they're, they're eager and keen. And um, you've got the old, uh, the old timers, uh, Wizzy and Sam Torrance, so they're, uh, they're keen to get up there. I've had a few months off and sort of got myself in good shape and uh, yeah, looking forward to the season. The start to the 2012 season was officially opened by Fowler, along with the stars of the tour, all looking for a virtuous start to the season. 2011 Rookie of the Year Gary Wollstenholme opened up the season with a 70 and 66, to go into the final round at 6 under, sharing the lead with 2012 Rookie Paul Westling of Derby. Back-to-back -back rounds of 68 meant that the two Englishmen held a one-shot lead going into the final round. But before the conclusion of this season's Maiden Tour event, Spanish legends took time out to pass on their skills, knowledge and experiences to some of the country's youngsters. Perhaps the next Seve coming through these young ranks. <laughs> the final group got underway just after midday and so began battle in an increasingly windy conditions on this par 71 6,745 yard course. Barry Lane made the first charge, birding the second and then here at the third to go four under, two off the pace. But the leaders were in no mood to mess around, Wollstenholm birding here at the first to get his round off to the perfect start. Not to be outdone, Westling also birdied the hole to show he was going to be no pushover against the more experienced man. Spain's Juan Quiroz led the local charge but found the going tough early on, however scrambled brilliantly here at the 7th to gain par and keep his title hopes alive. Paul Westling had found the water at 6 to drop two shots, but then Wollstenholm got out of position on the 7th and despite this excellent approach, dropped a shot to allow Westling a chance to come back. The Derbyshire man responded in style and took the scores back to six under par, sharing the lead by one. At the par 5 tenth, Juan Quiroz had a chance for birdie to get his scores level for the day. Barry Lane's chances of victory slipped away at the 13th when he missed this par putt and Julie slipped away out of contention. At the same hole, Wolsterholm had no such trouble. A superb tee shot, lining up an opportunity for birdie which he took to take his score to 9 under. Playing partner Mike Harwood have been putting together a steady round. Birding here at 13 to go six under. The Australian finishing the tie for second place for a round of 70. Westling continued to show his fighting qualities and knocked in his fourth birdie of the day to stay in contention and his debut event. <laughs> South Africa's Chris Williams put together a fantastic back nine charging up the leaderboard with birdies and saving par where he needed to here at the 16th. Chris managed to birdie the difficult 17th and so heading up to 18 had this birdie putt to set the clubhouse target at 8 under. Unfortunately for Chris he missed the par putt back and so the target was set at 6 under. Paul Westling had the opportunity here to tie Gary Wilson home score at 8 under. Leaving that short meant Gary had two putts to take the title. And 
so the 51 year old picked up his second senior tour title to add to the Australian Open he picked up in 2010. Chris Williams shot the round of the day, a 67-4 under, to tie him in a share for second place with Mike Harwood and Paul Westling, but it was Wolsterholm who took the title by two. I can't tell you how delighted I am. I had five months without really playing. I had played two pro-ams, one in Portugal, one in Spain with uh, you know, some friends and um, you know, I've moved home. Uh, that was sort of two to three months of, of complete chaos, um, so not much golf. So I came here really with no expectations whatsoever. I mean, I've tried to sort of uh, bump up the, uh, the practice uh, the last few weeks. Um, got a few things to work on, but um, I was delighted. The majority of the tour now head off to the States for the first major of the year, the US Senior Open.